Costos Corner, Jace is back. The NRL is underway this weekend. We've got a couple of matches as well, you know, in Vegas. But I'm going to remind you, my dear friend, uh, before you rip into it and tell us you're 1 through 17, this was it last year. You had the Cowboys winning the minor premiership. You had the Bunnies at second, Storm three, Panthers four, Roosters five, Sharks six, Eels seven, Bulldogs at eight. Broncos, you had at nine, they made the grand final. Titans, Raiders, Tigers, Eagles. You had the Warriors at 14, Dragons, Dolphins, and Knights. And the Knights <laughs> did pretty good too. Give yourself an uppercut. Stick the chin out, hey? Yeah. I <laughs> hey, listen, it, 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 these, are, these are not called fearless predictions by, uh, you know, of course. Of course, there is huge risk involved with what I'm about to tell you and your listeners again okay. for 2024, and and I laugh, I laugh, I laugh, and everyone's laughing at me, and I get that. But you do ask me for an opinion, and I'm not going to sit on the fence and get splinters, am I? No way, mate, and that's the whole point. And look, you know, it's easier after the event, isn't it, mate? Because everyone says, oh, you only picked the Warriors at 14. Well, who was genuinely thinking that they were the top four last year? So, yeah, I respect it, mate. I respect the fact that you do. Roll it. Okay, well, do you want to go from 17 to 1? 17 to 1. Okay, well, the wooden spoon has been a bit set about this, as there always is, because someone's going to finish in that basement or the premiership cellar. And, and look, I think, I think Flanagan will do some good things at the Dragons, but I can't see them avoiding the spoon. I think the Tigers will go north. Uh, it won't be a fait accompli to get rid of that dreaded wooden spoon at Concord, but... St. George Illawarra has the worst roster in the competition and Flanagan will need to be a miracle worker to avoid the wooden spoon. So the red V I have penciled in for position number 17. 16. <clears throat> well, I think Justin Olam, his departure from the Melbourne Storm and the arrival of other players at Concord will breathe new life and is breathing new life into West Tigers under the rookie coach Benji Marshall and I put an asterisk beside rookie because Tim Sheens remembering I worked at West Tigers last year he did tell me last year that Benji was responsible and owned the attack he owned the attack and David Ferner basically owned the defense and a lot's changed since uh, Sheens and I and Paul Sirinan and a heap of others were at West Tigers Marshall's in charge and officially is in charge, I think he'll do well. And I think these new players will be uh, a revelation for them. But I don't see them getting up the ladder. And I think some people who are getting carried away, they need to have a cold shower. I'm tipping the Tigers to finish in 16th position. Tigers and Dragons, two worst teams in the comp. Keep going. At 15, Canberra Raiders. I actually saw uh, one of the so-called ex Experts, the commentariat, uh, only before coming on air with you, suggesting they might even finish with the wooden spoon. Uh, look, I'm not trying to death ride Ricky Stewart. Uh, he, he, but I, I don't, I don't see I, Jack White, and there's a big loss for the Canberra Raiders. White and going to South Sydney, it's a big plus for the Bunnies. I, I just don't think Canberra uh, have got the ability to play finals football. So I've actually penciled them in in 15th position, as harsh as that sounds. Well, look, you know, there are always one or two big surprises, aren't there? There are teams that don't perform, and there are teams that do perform. 14. 14, I've got the Bulldogs. Stephen Crichton, as I understand, is the new captain, but hasn't it been a revolving door there with players? You know, when we were kids growing up, we used to idolise players like Steve Mortimer or Steve Folks or Cement Gillespie. Well, whoever it was might have been Greg Brenton or Terry Lamb. There's some big names for the older audience out there, for Marty, uh, ourselves included. But they just turn over players now, like go through it like players like toilet paper. I think it's bad. It's one issue that Peter Volandis should try and grapple with in terms of rewarding clubs for having players showing loyalty. It's a bit of a, a misnomer now. But Canterbury, with this clean out, they've gone through so many players. I, I don't see Sorreldo scaling the mountain this year and I've penciled Canterbury Bankstown in at 14. Well, I tell you what, those Bulldogs fans will probably take that after the season that they had last year. 13, we're closing in on the top eight people and if your team hasn't been called yet, here we go, 13. Well, I'm going to talk about Manly and their match against uh, uh, South Sydney. Uh, 
shortly. But Luke Brooks is a new arrival and is the big news on the peninsula, partnering Daly Cherry Evans. Can he uh, take them to a special place? Look, everything revolves around Turbo Tom. Trebojevic at the back, if he stays fit and healthy and plays the majority of games, they could play finals football at the drop of a hat, no problem. But I'm not convinced with Manly. I'm really not. And I penciled Manly in at 13. Okay, well, uh, McInnes the other night, I watched him and he picked them to actually win the whole bloody thing. And I just thought at that stage I'd go forward. Number 12 is who? I've got the Gold Coast. Des Hasler's been around rugby league for a really long time. And he will want to show people, particularly the Manly faithful, some old Canterbury supporters, that he is not up there just to collect a pension like so many players historically have gone to the Gold Coast even before the Titans uh, adopted that moniker. So a big, big year coming up for the Gold Coast, but uh, I, I can't, I'm not convinced that the Gold Coast will make the finals. It wouldn't surprise me, but I'm backing them out. The Titans at number 12 under Des. Okay, just to recap, we've got Titans, Manly, Bulldogs, Raiders, Tigers and Dragons. That's 12 through 17. Um, last year, finishing 12 through 17, Sea Eagles, Dolphins, Titans, Bulldogs, Dragons, West Tigers. A lot of familiar names, Jase. Keep going. Number 11. Number 11, uh, look, they've been searching for, for some holy grail since 1986, their last premiership. Yes, I'm referring to Parramatta. I wouldn't at all be surprised if uh, the knives come out for Brad Arthur this year. Uh, at some point in time. Uh, it's always speculated. I'm not here to basically point the finger, but I come on your program to provide an opinion. Brad Arthur, I, I'd like to see some odds as to who's going to be the first coach to be punted in 2024. They need to start well. Mitchell Moses will know that, but he just can't carry the team. He's going to need some help. If he has a big year, if he wins the Dally M, well, Parramatta could go all the way. But I'm backing them out. Parramatta Eels under Brad Arthur, who's been there for a long time. I think he's now the longest serving coach, or he will be, of picking Parramatta at number 11 to miss the eight. They finished 10 last year. So who's 10 this year? 